Hello, my name is Kathy, and today I'm going to be giving a lightning talk about five projects in five minutes. Through experimenting with various different patterns and libraries and building these five projects, I've developed a simple boilerplate that I'll share with you all at the end. Let's jump straight in. Um, the first thing I ever built with Next was a screenshot bookmarking tool during the start of quarantine. Um, there's obviously a desktop component that has nothing to do with Next. This is an Electron app we built to capture screenshots. But in addition to the desktop app, we built a web interface for people to view and organize their screenshots after capturing them. You can quickly add tags with dragging and keyboard shortcuts. Uh, here I am adding a demo tag, which creates a new row on the side menu. This is my hehe <laughs> tag, which is full of things I find funny. You can favorite and share individual screenshots. And then my favorite feature, relevant stores where you took the screenshot, so it can take you back to the exact place where you captured it from, like a true bookmark. And that was our first time using Next, um, a very delightful experience, which made me use it in the next project I worked on, Hyperspace, which is a collaborative web browsing experience. I built a Chrome extension where you could see other people's cursors if you were on the same page as them, basically simulating multiplayer across any website. If you were in the same room, or I call them hyperspaces, you could see where people are in the internet and click through to, to jump into the site they're currently on. Next.js comes in because there's also a companion web app uh, where you can video call and manage your hyperspaces. Uh, this project was my first time using Tailwind, which is an amazing CSS framework that I ended up putting into my boilerplate. Okay, Explorer. Um, like many other developers this year, I spent some time playing around with GT3, as you do. Uh, my company actually ended up open sourcing an experiment tool for GPT, GPT prompts. Uh, just like the open AI playground, you can toggle different parameters and get an output from the model. Our tool also lets you save prompts, which makes it easier to iterate on different inputs. We also made it really easy to share your inputs and results so that other people can use them as a jumping off point for their own experiments. Uh, I'll post a link to this project in Discord if you're interested in checking it out, as it's uh, all open source. Whew, zooming through these. Um, On to the fourth project. I built a quick handstand training tool two months ago, mainly to experiment with NextAuthJS, which is an authentication library. Uh, previously, I had been using Auth0, which didn't give me enough flexibility around offflows and my user models. Um, upside down is just a simple recording and live tool to help you with your handstand alignment. Clearly, I'm not very good, um, but it basically beeps whenever you're straight, which helps with body awareness. Finally, Dispatch, the fifth and last project, and also what I'm currently working on. Dispatch is basically a knowledge management tool for companies to capture and organize questions and answers across their teams. Uh, we use semantic search to find similar questions, so people never need to answer the same question twice. We also built a Slack integration that allows you to ask questions and find answers from Slack. Uh, the Slack bot hits Next.js API endpoints to trigger actions. Uh, there's a queue system for people to answer questions. Compared to previous projects, the data models in this one were a lot more complex. Uh, we use SQLize, which is a very popular ORM library. And before that, I was uh, just running vanilla SQL queries, and it quickly got very messy. Uh, many, many regrets. With Dispatch, we also built upon the Next Off.js library, which I first used in the handstand tool. Uh, users can set admin authorizations, which affect what resources they can access. And that was the five projects I've worked on since quarantine. Uh, you'll notice that Upside Down and Dispatch look quite similar, because at that point, the blower plate I've been building was uh, a lot further along. Uh, this is a quick overview of what's in that boilerplate. plate. Uh, there's SQLize. Tailwind, NextAuth, all battle-tested libraries. We also use TypeScript and Prettier along with their pre-commit hooks. Uh, I, I posted a link to this boilerplate in Discord. The README is pretty thorough, um, so feel free to take it for a spin and DM me if you have any questions. Okay, and that's five minutes. Uh, thank you for coming to this quick talk. Contributions and feedback are very welcome. Feel free to create an issue on GitHub or uh, DM me on Twitter at Kathy Kaisi. Have a lovely rest of your day, and I hope I get to connect and meet with some of you at this conference. Bye.